So I had less than a couple of days ago with somebody and they were struggling with their seven iron. I got them to gain 15 yards within half an hour just on that one club. Dead simple, this is what we did. I said I had a lesson a couple of days ago with somebody they were struggling to get a little bit of distance going with their irons and they wanted to work on that. The main issue was compression of the golf ball and uh, understanding how that you can achieve that and they were struggling with a couple of positions within their swing we did one simple drill and it got them to hit it better. Alright so what do we talk about when we mean compression? So I'm talking about the energy transfer from the club to the ball and the issue that they had was that as they were coming in and this might be a problem that you see, so a lack of balance in your swing, an inability to transfer your weight, and people can struggle with that. So the position at impact that they were sort of achieving would be to stand there, swing, get their weight stuck on their back foot, left foot kind of rising a little bit, you can see the heel lifting up. And then as they came in, almost like pretty much scooping the ball. So then the club, as it's coming into impact, is kind of getting that motion. So coming in, there's the ball, almost hitting it like a wood and you could see the club rising. Now the issue is that if you do that, you're gonna get inconsistent strikes. You're gonna hit it fat, you're gonna hit it thin. And when you hit it well, the ball or the club's gotta to present to the ball with more loft than it should do. So then you're presenting the club in a fashion that your seven iron's gonna be turning into you know, an eight iron, a nine iron, or in some cases even like a wedge. So you're getting loads of loft on the ball and just not getting it going forward. Trying to get people to transfer their weight or at least generate the feel for transferring the weight can be extremely difficult sometimes. So that, that motion of trying to feel like you're transferring and getting into your left hand side, if you're in a position where you're used to really being stuck on your right hand side, could be a weird feeling. So what I got the guy to do was dead, this simple drill. So ball's there, normal stance, ball relatively central to the stance. Bring the left foot more or less level to the ball and put the right foot back. Okay, so address here, very much feeling that the weight's on the left foot, you know, you, you can put your, lift your foot up there so that your heel's off the ground there. So you're presenting with the weight on the left foot and then standing there and trying to make a few swings like that. Now the whole point of that is that you're getting to a point where at impact you're feeling the weight in your left hand side, which is what you need to do. You need to get to that point where you can go, right, I can deliver the club, and my weight is in the left hand side. So you generate a feel. And like I've said in other videos, feel against real is not always the same thing, but you've got to get the feeling for having your weight in your left hand side at impact. So the shot should look something like this. So if I put my left foot level with the ball, right foot back so that I'm on the toes, stand there, swing, like that. Not necessarily hitting full shots, but they are balanced and controlled. I'm not falling over, but I'm just getting that sensation of hitting the ball, and at the point of impact, my weight is full, my weight is in my left hand side. So again, so there, left foot level with the ball, right foot back, swing, impact, and I can feel myself turning and rotating, and importantly getting that sensation of having my weight on the left hand side of my body at the point of impact. Then, dead simple. So you generate the feel for the shot there of that one-legged swing, you can see a controlling launch angle, spin rate, all of that. But you get that feel for having the, at the impact position, having the weight on the left-hand side. Set yourself into a normal setup position. Ball's relatively central to my stance. Stand perfectly square to the target. And then you want to try and feel like that is your impact position, that one-legged swing, weight on the left-hand side. That's what you're trying to achieve. So like that, just transferring my weight through, getting to a point where you say it's a more classic, more orthodox finish position, and importantly, getting my weight onto the left hand side. Then you're gonna feel a transfer, then you're gonna feel a shift, you're gonna to start to hit the ball better and gain some yardage on those irons, it's really important. But if you like that video, make sure that you press that one there and you can learn how to drive it with the power of John Rahm.